Hi, I'm Stephanie Lorette with Avalon Park, and I'm here live with Jan Edwards, CEO of Pathway Foundation. Amazing tool for children, but doing something especially big today. I see some cool background going on. This is Jan. What are you doing? Yeah, so we are in D.C. We've been in D.C. for two days advocating for kids on the hill. Um, as some of you may or may not know, what Paving the Way Foundation does is we're out to be a fierce disruption in the cycle of child trafficking and exploitation. We do that through education and awareness programs and legislation, right? That's one of the most important tools we have in our tool bag as citizens of the United States is we can go talk to our leaders in our country and let them know how we feel and what we really want them to take on, you know, on our behalf. So that's why we're here. We've got about 35 youth from four or five different states, and we've been meeting with congressional representatives all day yesterday, and we've got another big day on the Hill. And you know, part of what we do when we say shining the light in the darkness is we have a big fundraiser coming up on November 18th, and it's going to be right there in Avalon Park. I'm so excited. And, you know, it's going to be at the um, at the fifth floor, which is actually on the second floor. So we can go into 2024 really empowered with funds to educate our kiddos, because that's what it's all about is empowering our youth so they know exactly what to look for, so they know exactly what to do. And then talking to our parents and letting them know it's not their fault. Our kids are being bombarded every single day with DMs and body part pictures they did not ask for. And it's frustrating and they're over it. So we wanna empower families to know what to do. We wanna empower kiddos to know what to do. And we wanna encourage our legislators to support our kids. So in addition to this awesome fundraiser that's coming out, how can the community get involved in shining a light? So November 20th, I'm so glad you asked that question. November 20th is Universal Children's Day. And we're going to invite every single person that's listening to this live stream is to go buy blue light bulbs, buy a four pack. Use two, give two away to either side of your neighbors. And on November 20th at dusk, turn on the light because we want to shine a light in the darkness on human trafficking and child exploitation. And the great thing about a blue light bulb, so simple, right? And when we have those kinds of conversations and then your kids are going, why are we buying blue light bulbs? You can say, well, honey, did you know that November 20th is Universal Children's Day? Did you know that Florida ranks third in the country for calls to the National Trafficking Hotline? Did you know that Orange County ranks second in the state for child trafficking? Did you know? that the average age that's being targeted online is 13, 10 to 13. So you actually get to start a conversation and people can always go to our website, Lights On For Children, to learn more. It's lightsonforchildren.org to learn more. Great, so grab a blue light bulb, put it in, shine it. I, I would encourage everybody to shine it through the entire month of November, but yes. especially on November. Let's take a pic, let's share it on social media, hashtag shine a light and show us how you are helping shining a light on childhood trafficking. Awesome, absolutely. Thank you, Stephanie, for doing going live with me today. I feel, you know, I'm bringing Florida with me. We have, uh, we have multiple Florida representatives today and we're marching the halls of Congress and letting them know that we want them to protect our kiddos. Awesome, keep up the good work. Best of luck to you today. Thanks, thanks. Bye. All right.